Today we got our first look at the alligator that's become an internet sensation. He's called Chance the Snapper, and he now lives at the St. Augustine Alligator Farm. Yeah, he's relocated, by the way. Chance the <laughs> Snapper spent last week eluding authorities in Chicago. News for Jacks reporter Brittany Muller visited the gator, who's now drawing large crowds. A gator in the national spotlight. It's a complete blessing. Everybody I dealt with up there, uh, this is part of their victory too. This video right after Chance the Snapper was caught on Tuesday. He's a nearly five foot alligator that had been on the loose in Chicago's Humboldt Park for almost a week. St. Augustine alligator trapper Frank Robb was called to Chicago to capture the gator and in less than 48 hours he managed to reel Chance in with a single cast from his fishing pole. It was probably maybe a 25 or 30 foot cast and uh, thank God it was one cast and it was done. Two days later, Chance the Snapper was welcomed to his forever home at the St. Augustine Alligator Farm. It's a five-store resort for crocodilians. There is no better place in the world than the St. Augustine Alligator Farm. He could not have came to a better place than right here. Rob says the reason why Chance the Snapper ended up here at the St. Augustine Alligator Farm is because someone had Chance the Snapper as a pet and he was either released or got out and he wouldn't have survived in Chicago. But the bottom line, alligators are not pets. A site that locals and visitors are stopping by for a chance of a lifetime. This alligator farm does so much for the community and for conservation. We're just thrilled for the exposure. Rob says it's been a whirlwind of a week. It's a life-changing experience, no doubt about it. Chicago changed my life in five days. Brittany Muller, Channel 4, the local station. And that alligator trapper, Frank Rob, we were talking about, he's been trapping gators more than two decades. Mm. Now, he says the mayor of Chicago gave him a certificate of appreciation for his efforts in helping keep the community safe. This is what it looks like. Rob also got to invited to throw out the first pitch at a Chicago Cubs baseball game.